what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this simple video i'm going to be showing you how you can transfer money from your exchange to cheaper cash in this example i'm going to be using bybit because somebody requested for it so it can be binance okx bitgate you can transfer money from those exchanges to cheaper cash if at all you're using it then from cheaper cash you will be able to convert it to your local currency nigeria naira ugandan shillings stuff like that so what we are going to do is click here on assets click on assets then if at all you have an upgraded bybit account you'll be seeing stuff like funding unified trading inverse directives so D derivatives non directives sorry <laughs> derivatives so it includes like futures trading stuff like that so if at all you have an upgraded bybit account you'll be seeing that stuff then if at all you don't have an upgraded bybit account you're still good to go you just click on this withdraw button and you'll be good to go so for you guys who have an upgraded account we need to first transfer money from let me show you we need to first transfer money from the unified trading to funding that's when you'll be able to see it under the withdraw section so i have my usdt under unified because that's when you'll be able to trade it funding you just be holding those like coins or tokens so i'm first going to click here on transfer and i'm going to transfer from unified to funding so i'm going to change the order so i'm sending from this account to funding so that i'll be able to withdraw these tokens so i'm going to select usdt then i'm going to send the entire amount or transfer the entire amount which is 11 dollars click on confirm Let's give it some few seconds all right so our money is under funding so that's when we'll be able to see it when we click on withdraw so click on withdraw and this is our usdt click on usdt and here they are going to ask us for the address and network and also take note the minimum to be withdrawn is going to be ten dollars they will show it there after us submitting the wallets so let us go now to cheaper cash let me put in my fingerprints all right for you guys who don't have money like me you'll be seeing that 95 shillings and then the usd so click here on usd click on usd then click on add cash add cash then select digital dollars select digital dollars and here you can send three like you can receive three tokens there is the paypal usd we have usdc and usdt so tether is usdt so for you guys if you have usdc you'll be selecting this then for me who is sending usdt usdt i'll be selecting tether so select tether and we have four networks we have the ethereum network which is the first one the polygon the solana and tron network in this simple video i'm going to be using this because it's fast also matic is fast so i'm going to use solana for the sake of this video i'm going to use solana as my network so i'm going to click on solana they will generate this address for me make sure you read this if you're sending usdt don't send it via the polygon network when you're going to select solana don't send it via the ethereum network when you're going to select solana so i'm going to be sending usdt from the solana network so i'm going to click there copy the address then come back here paste it then where they are showing network I'm going to select Solana. I'm going to select Solana. You can use Matic if at all you selected the Polygon network. Also, you can use TRC20 if at all you selected the Tron network. Stuff like that. But for this video, 
I selected Solana and the gas fee is going to be one dollar this is what they charge for you to withdraw and this is when they show you the minimum amount you can withdraw starting from 10 and above if you have less than 10 you won't be able to withdraw your tokens it has to be 10 and above so I'm going to select maximum I'm going to send the entire amount maximum and this is what I'm going to be receiving remember they take away one dollar as a network fee so if I'm to click on network you can see here fee is going to be one dollar so out of the 11 they will deduct one and this is what I'll be receiving now let us go ahead and click on withdraw give it some time so the second like displays security verification they tell you to verify if at all this is correct information they are showing me on-chain withdrawal is going to be usdt on solana then the withdraw to that's the address that i copied from cheaper cash then amount received ten dollars in brackets fees one dollar so remember it was 11 so i'm going to click on confirm then i'm going to go on my email and get this this is a security measure if at all you already said it somebody else can't withdraw your tokens without them receiving those verification codes on their emails so i'm going to click on i don't know why they never brought the other option of my fingerprint so i'm going to click on get code and i'm going to pause this go get the code on my email then also the google authenticator code all right this is the email that i received they are telling me somebody is trying to withdraw this amount if it's me then i can copy this code go back to bybit paste it there then let me go and get the google authenticator code all right i've got the code from the google authenticator let me click on confirm and the withdraw is going to be in process so let us take note of the time it is 4 17 i'm going to pause and wait for the amount or the money to arrive in my cheaper cash account as you can see at 4 20 one minute has gone by i received this pending confirmations from the blockchain and i'm receiving 10 usdt which is going to be added to this section of usd it has give it some time until it's confirmed let me refresh so they are confirming this amount on the blockchain let's give it some more time and we see so guys after some time remember we sent the coins at 417 420 they arrived then 423 that's when they were confirmed so you can make some calculations and see how many minutes are those from the time we sent from by now by bit sorry to cheaper cash and they did some arbitrage techniques here instead of 10 they gave me around 9.97 so for you guys who don't know arbitrage somebody buys the coins at a lower price and sells them at a higher price they also do it here so let's say i want to convert this to my currents depending on the country that you'll be in i just go to convert then i will type in the amount so 19 9.19 and i'll be receiving this amount so they are pricing each dollar at 3660 that's why they are pricing it at but I also check this out so close this when you're trying to buy from them the dollar let's go to convert they sell it like at 377 one 
so that's what they sell it at remember when you're giving them the dollar they buy it at a lower price then when they are selling to you the that dollar sorry they sell it at a higher price so that's how you send money from the exchange to cheaper cash i hope it has helped you peace i'll be seeing you in the next videos